The purpose of this demonstration is to show you some capabilities of Erdas Imaging object-oriented feature extraction tools. Originally we were talking about segmentation in Imagine, but uh, we are now talking about a bit more generic approach. How to extract information in Erdas Imagine when the high resolution imagery is the source of the information. The file I'm using is some Navestovo aerial image, half a meter pixel size containing uh, RGB and near-infrared channels. The tool I'm using is Imagine Objective. It is our object-oriented feature extraction tool. I'll create a project for that. First, Namestovo Buildings number 7. And feature model is Namestovo Buildings number 7 too. The first thing you need to define is a variable, which is basically our input data. And that variable in this case is our Navestova building. So I'll pick up the building, uh, building the, the image. I pick up the image, and that is our input data. And that is um, our only input data, what we are going to use in this process. I'll start working in this corner of the image, and I define by clicking this button, I define that I work just at the moment when developing this process, I just work with this display. I'm not running the whole image at the, at, at the beginning because it takes a while. The first step, or, or the whole process in Imagine Objective is defined by by a step-by-step -step basis. First you define something with your two raster pixels, then you turn those pixel classifications into a segment, then you do something with those segments, then you do uh, convert those segments, raster segments, to vector polygons, then you do something with the, with the vectors, do some processing for those, and finally you clean up those vectors. So first thing is to do some raster pixel processing. This is done there are some uh, some few features or few ways of doing it. The one we are always or mainly using is single feature probability, which is basically a simple uh, trained classification. First, we do some training samples. So I digitize some buildings. This is the building we want, and we say that is both both pixel and object. This is the dark building we want. We add that. This is the slightly red building we want. We add that. And this is the bright building we want. And we add that. Then we digitize something that we don't want. We don't want anything like this field. And we say that is a background. It's a pixel value now. So we add something that it, we don't want. We don't either want this field and we add that also as a background and we don't either want anything from the road like that and we add that as a background then we have to accept the, the training samples given here so in practice what it makes is calculate some statistical information of the training samples we have given the next step is then do some segmentation so we segment those classification results uh, then we do something for those segments. So in this time we do some size. So first we do some probability filtering. So we are only accepting segments where the probability classification probability is over 0.75. And then we'll add some size filtering. We uh, say that minimum size of our building is 200 and maximum size is 1000 pixels. And then we convert those to a polygons and we put a stop here. So now I'm running something with the pixel based classification, segmentation, uh, doing some analysis for those segments and then finally burning those to a polygons. So now I'm running these four first steps to see the results, what we are getting out. The idea of objective is that you define the process in this small window and when you have defined the process and set up the parameters in the right way, you can extract all that information to a bigger uh, for the whole data sets. Now we can compare. Here is the result. So that is our work. First result, 
visible here is, is the raster pixel, the pixel-based classification. The bright pixels means that there the classification result is fairly high. So we get big, uh, buildings quite nicely. And then there comes the segmentation result. It's not a very good one. Oh, it's not very intuitive one. Here comes probability filter. So we have filtered away everything that prob has a probability less than uh, 75. Size filtering drops out the small and huge region. So this is the buildings where we are getting. And here is the polygon version of those buildings what we are getting. So I think it's quite nice. Not exact, but quite nice. So we are happy with the results so far. Now the next thing is that we start to do something with those vectors. So we start here. And first we do something like and we stop here. Actually we can say Alright, now we can start doing. First thing is that we do some generalize for those vectors. We, uh, that's fine setting. We may do some some smoothing like here. We do, so we do some generalizing and smoothing. Then we do some some. We are looking for square kind of buildings. So I, I search for the for the rectangularity that's the function we want to use here and here we want to use here we have to use the training data what we have we are using the training data what we have already digital so I just say accept and then as a final step we do some cleaning up of the of the results so we'll do something like for example this solve to combine all those separate uh, pieces of vector so some generalizing smoothing then some rectangularity and finally we dissolve so that we combine all the separate vectors together. And we'll see what comes out now. And here we have our result. So we do the swiping again and we leave the dissolve as a working one. That is at the moment our final result. There are some other functions like like uh, putting a square around the building but this is now a quick example how you can extract information. I think quite nice result. Some buildings are not as they should be but some buildings are really good. So this is the process how you define. You can extract any information, whatever, wh what you want. It just depends on how you define these settings. I won't run this now for the whole process or whole file because it takes a while, while because the files are fairly large. I'll just take an example. I'll, I'll quickly run, show you the result of what we got out when we, I run it for the whole image. It takes something like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Here is a result of that process for those same settings for the whole image and that is actually quite nice. Some problems with the big buildings because we have the size filters but for example the small buildings here are really nicely extracted. All of them are extracted really nicely just with those settings we made in last five minutes. So objective is a is a Erdas feature extraction tool for high resolution ima imagery. It's a very capable, it's just up to you how well you define the process, how well you define the parameters and that defines the result you get out. It gives you a huge amount of possibilities, huge amount of flexibility to extract whatever you want from the images you have.